Glad to see everybody. We're Bob and Jim Bell of Out West, and we're co-hosting tonight with the Santa Clarita Valley Historical Society. It's the uh, first time, and it's a great room, don't you think? <laughs> really Applause good. for the room. Yeah. <laughs> and we thank all the volunteers that really just um, converted this space, which is a multi-use space, into a wonderful venue for tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kind of slipped that in, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> well, I'm the fellow that, that does the introductions to the person that does the introductions, so I don't get to talk too long. <laughs> and to without further ado, Bobby Jean. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome everybody to another evening of the SCV TV presents the Out West Concert Series here tonight at the Historical Society's historic 1887 Saugus train depot, and it's really fun to be here with all of you. We thank you for coming on down the street from out west and allowing us to have this here tonight. And tonight we have a very, very special evening for you. And we're gonna be kicking things off first with Mary Kay, the 2010 Female Performer of the Year, Western Music Association. And she's been nominated again for this year, 2011. Thank you. She was 16 a summer, they met by chance. He was an out of town cowboy just there for the dance. And he smiled as he waltzed her across that wood floor. And he held her hand tightly as he led her to the door, led her to the door. And he took her one, two, three, one, two, three out in that night, gave a sweet, simple kiss under all this moonlight. Many memories are lost, but the one she can find is that cowboy waltzing, waltzing across her mind. Well, it's been a few years and she's a woman full grown with a husband and children in a home of her own. And she loves them like thunder with a heart that is true. But sometimes at night that cowboy's memory comes waltzing through. And he takes her one, two, three, one, two, three, back to that night. And that sweet, simple kiss under all this moonlight. Many memories are lost, but the one she can find is that cowboy waltzing, waltzing across her mind. Oh, life is made sweeter by moments like this. Just an out of town cowboy in true love's first kiss. Well, the flower of youth is faded and flown, and the woman is old and a widow all alone. As she rocks on her porch, she smiles and she sighs, and you can see a cowboy. When you look in her eyes And he takes her one, two, three, one, two, three Back to that night That sweet, simple kiss Under all this moonlight Many memories are lost But the one she can find Is that cowboy waltzing, waltzing Across her mind that cowboy waltzing cross her mind. 
Thank you. <laughs> Well, you do all know how, you're, how you can tell if you're talking to a real cowboy or not, don't you? Do you know how you can tell? Well, a real cowboy thinks that the Al Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms should be a convenience store, not a government department. <laughs> Can't you just see the cowboy coming home from work? Well, honey, I'm going down to the ATF. Can I get you anything? <laughs> Y'all having fun? All right. The moon was black as a miner's lawn. The sky was as black as a shroud. And deep in a cell, I was black as well. Two men sat moaning aloud. One was Rennie, who had robbed a man. And the other was Bert, who had killed. And the gallows outside had never been tried, but their mission would soon be fulfilled. Lads, their mission would soon be fulfilled. Three nooses hang low in the sky. Goodbye, Rennie, goodbye, Bert. Three nooses hang low like a sigh. But who is the third who will die? Lads, who is the third who will die? Sunny sundown lay awake one night with his darling Sue by his side. When the bow riddick boys hardly making a noise, they pushed his front door open wide. In they did creep as Sunny rose to his feet, like a spirit he made not a sound. And his blood boiled inside as they came near his bride And he shot the four riddick boys down Lads, he shot the four riddick boys down The sheriff in town, he woke to the sound And he called all his men to the chase Knowing not who to blame, they thought it a shame As they dragged Sonny out of his place Sonny put up a fight, but they locked him up tight his debt he would soon need to pay. He dreamed of his wife and their satisfied life, and he woke to a wicked new day. Lads, he woke to a wicked new day. Three nooses hang low in the sky. Goodbye, Rennie, goodbye, Bert. Three nooses hang low like a sigh. But who is the third? The dawn broke red as the men bowed their heads as they marched to the gallows newly made. Rennie sighed and Bert just cried, but Sonny, he wasn't afraid. Then up the street came a rider so sweet, she parted the crowd like a sea. Sue reached out her hand to rescue her man, and they rode away put loose and free. Lads, they rode away put loose and free. Three nooses hang low in the sky. Goodbye, Sally, goodbye, Sue. Three nooses hang low like a sigh. But there won't be a third who will die. Lads, there won't be a third who will die. No, there won't be a third who will die. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You know, there's wonderful friends here tonight that have come, and uh, I want to thank all of them for coming out of their way and, uh, and to tell them how much I love them. Do you know, Western music really is a family, and if you love music and you want to be involved in some music in kind of an intimate way, get involved with Western music. I can't encourage you enough because you will get to know all the performers. We are a big family. A lot of, my, a lot of you are my friends that come, you hear me sing the same songs over and over, and again, I apologize, but you know, when we meet new friends and stuff, you, you want to do the songs that are familiar, but... If it's okay with you, can I do a brand new song for you guys tonight? Would that be good? Okay. <laughs> um, also, before I do this song, can I get my guitar turned up just a titch? Somebody. Okay. 
This, um, there's a beautiful poem written by a poet named Frank Dupree. Now, thank Frank Dupree was an Englishman, and he um, was from England, and he came out to Texas in the late 1800s and worked as a cowboy in Texas. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Worked in Texas um, for a couple of years, and then he, he went back to England, where he penned a very famous poem called Laska. Now, Laska tells a story of a Mexican girl, of course, and her name is Laska, and uh, about her Texas cowboy that she's in love with. And uh, I just fell in love with the poem, and I put it to music. There's only one catch. You're going to have to pretend that I'm a boy singing a song. Can you do that? <laughs> I said that at the coffee gallery, and some guy yelled out, it's California, we can pretend that. <laughs> no problemo. So this song is called Laska. It's all very well to write reviews To carry umbrellas and keep dry shoes To say what everyone is saying here And to wear what everyone else must wear But tonight I'm sick of the whole affair I want free life and I want fresh air I sigh for the canter after the cattle For the crack of the whip like shots in battle for the green below and the blue above, for dash and danger and life and love, and Alaska. Alaska used to ride on a mouse gray Mustang by my side, with blue serape and bright belts burn. Laugh with joy when I looked at her. Little she knew of books or creeds, and Ave Maria sufficed her needs. And little she cared, save to be by my side, from San Saba shores to La Vacus She was bold as the billows they blow. As she swayed in her suppleness to and fro, she would hunger that our mighty would take the bitter and leave the sweet. And when the sun is like fire and the sky won't shine in soft sapphire, one does not drink from little sips for dark brown eyes in crimson. If you wonder why I do not care For the things that are like the things that were Maybe I am just thinking of her in Texas By the Rio Grande The air was heavy and the night was hot I sat by your side and forgot, forgot, forgot the hurt that was taking their rest, forgot the air that was close oppressed. The one side its breath let the hurt take fright. Nothing on the earth can stop the flight. And woe to the rider and woe to the steed who falls in front of their mad stampede. I sprang to my saddle and she clung behind. Way on a hot chase down the wide. As we fell, she threw her arms across my chest. Her lips upon my heart were pressed. And then came the thunder in our ears. As over a search, the sea of steers. With blows that beat blood in my eyes. I knew my Alaska never more would rise.
gouged out a grave a few feet deep. There in her psalms I laid her to sleep. And there she's lying and nobody knows. The summer shines and the winter snows. And if you wonder why I do not care, for the things that are like the things that were Well, half my heart lies buried with her in Texas By the Rio Grande In Texas By the Rio Alaska used to ride on a mouse gray Mustang by my side with blue serape and bright bells burn. I'd laugh with joy when I looked at her. Thank you. My sweet husband says that I should sell my CDs with a box of Kleenex. <laughs> I sang that for my kids and my 14-year-old son. Five minutes later, he goes, wow, that was a great song. It was so sad. She'd always follow a song like that with a song about food. <laughs> Preferably chocolate. <laughs> Did you know that chocolate is part of the food pyramid? Did you know that, Bobby Jean? It's the outline that's all around everything. It's a chocolate-coated food pyramid. <laughs> this song is based on an old cowboy poem written by a cowboy named Anonymous. <laughs> I've heard of lots of cowboys, but uh, Anonymous is a new one. It's called Biscuit Shootin' Suji. Well, the last beef has been brandy, then the last year has been shipped. That cowboy's free to roam the prairie that the Roundup crew had stripped. And he's free to think of Susie, fair in the stars above. She's a waitress at the station, and she's his turtle dove. She's biscuit shooting Susie, she's got him roped and tied. So we're men are woozy, look on her with pride. Susie's bright and able, not a one gets rash when she waits on a table serving up cowboy hash. She serves bacon and beans, mounds it seems, makes a cowpoke dizzy. Cornbread and gravy drive them all crazy, served by a gal so pretty. Biscuits so light they could fly, kite served with butter and jelly. Take a cue from what Susie knew, a man's heart is in his belly. Well, I think that cowboy's loco, just fit for herding sheep. Cause he only thinks of Susie when he's awake or he's asleep. And he's wearing Cupid's hobbles, and he's tied in a love stake pin. When that cowboy's heart was branded, boys, the iron sunk deep in. For biscuit shooting Susie, she's got him roped and tied. Sober man or woozy, look on her with pride. Susie's bright and able, and not a one gets rash. When she waits on a table, serving up cowboy hash. Serves bacon and beans, mounds it seems, makes a cowpoke dizzy. Cornbread and gravy drive them all crazy, served by gal so pretty. This was so light they could fly, kite served with butter and jelly. Take a cue from what Susie knew, a man's heart is in his belly. That's right. So we'll take a saddle on Sunday, the one with inlaid flaps. And Don is new sombrero and his white and gore shaps. And he'll take a bronc for Susie and she'll leave her pots and pans. And they'll figure out their future and talk or homestead plans. With biscuit Jude and Susie, she's got them roped and tied. Sober man or woozy, look on her with pride. Susie's broad and able and not a 
one gets rash when she waits on a table serving up cowboy hash. She serves bacon and beans, mounds it seems, makes a kale poke dizzy. Corn bread and gravy drive them all crazy, serve that gal so pretty. Biscuits so light they could fly, cat serve with butter and jelly. Take a cue from what Susie knew, you can marry a cowboy too. All you gotta do is make a great stew. Cause a cowboy's heart is in his belly. Come and get it, boy. Note to self, if you are asked to sing in California, the Saugus train station in September, do not wear heavy black velvet. <laughs> Just a little note to self there. <laughs> As I walked out in the streets of Laredo, as I walked out in Laredo one day, I spied a young cowboy all wrapped in white linen, all wrapped in white linen and cold as the clay. I see by your outfit that you are a cowboy. These words he did say as I slowly walked by. Come sit down beside me and hear my sad story. I've been shot in the breast and I know I must die. So beat the drum slowly and play the five lowly and play the day in marches you carry my fall. Take me to the green valley, there lay the side of me, for I'm a young cowboy and no I've done wrong. So gather around me a crowd of young cowboys and six pretty maidens to sing a sad song. Throw bunches of roses all over my coffin, roses to deaden the clods as they fall. So beat the drum slowly and play the five lowly and play the din marches you carry my paw. Take me to the green valley, there lay the side over me for I'm a young cowboy and no I've done wrong. Yes, I'm a young cowboy. Streets of Laredo. <laughs> oh my, we're gonna have fun tonight, I can tell. Do you know this has just been so fun for us? My husband and I have been celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> We've been like little kids running around all over Southern California, up the Pacific Coast Highway, having fish and chips on the beach, dancing together. We went to Olive, Olivera Street, uh, Olivera, is that how you say it? Had Mexican food and listened to the mariachi bands. Went shopping with my girlfriends, Bobby and Jency, and uh, we've just had a blast all week long. And so uh, you guys are real lucky to live in Southern California. Now I have to say, this room is just special, isn't it? Let's have a hand for this beautiful backdrop here. 
and for the Historical Society for having us here and hosting this event because Bobby and Jim have always done a great job hosting these concerts at their store at Out West in Newhall. But it's a real treat to be here, um, sponsored uh, and hosted by the Historical Society. So thank you very, very much. Are you guys having a good time? I hope so. I have this cough drop in my mouth. What do you do with it? Should I spit it out or? <laughs> well, I guess I'll tell you a story while I finish up this cough drop. There was an old cowboy who was called into his pastor's office. The old pastor was worried about the cowboy's soul. Has your pastor called you in recently, Warner? Well, he sat on the desk between them, two jars. There's a jar full of whiskey, and there's a jar full of tobacco. And then the pastor got out two worms, and he put a worm into the jar of the whiskey, and he put a worm in the jar of tobacco, and then they watched those two, two worms die. I think it was like lung cancer and kidney failure or something like that. <laughs> That's how it goes, Jim. And then the pastor looked at the old cowboy and said, okay, old cowboy, what did you learn from this little experiment of mine? And the cowboy thought about it and he shifted his boots a little. And he rubbed his chin and he said, well, pastor, I guess I learned I ain't got no worms. <laughs> Well, this song is the title track to my CD, Clean Out of Luck. It's a true story, every bit of it. It's a story about the Dalton Gang. It was October 5th, 1893, when a gang of outlaws rode into the town of Coffinville. It was the Dalton Gang, and they were gonna do something no other outlaw gang had done before. They were gonna rob two banks at once. Well, the good folks of Coffeeville decided they didn't wanna be robbed that day. In fact, they decided to fight back. So October 5th, 1893, was the day that the Dalton gang ran clean out of luck. Singing how you all ain't in a hurry. i tell you all the story about some boys from Missouri, cousins to Jesse James. The Dalton boys was their names. Raised on the thrill of outlaw stories, they headed on a trail of short-lived glory, pretty as you please. They formed a gang of thieves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big brother Grat and little brother Emmett, but Bob was a brother who got them all, and a good horse started disappearing. The people start fearing. Laying low in the Dalton Cave, they were sheared in glory in the plans they made. They held up the Santa Fe, stole ten horses along the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They did not fear to steal, and they did not blush to hide. But they robbed their train to glory when they made that final ride. So don't shed a tear for an outlaw, their mama cried enough. The day they ran into coffee, if it was the day they ran. the Dalton gang, but Bob had a plan to increase their fame, holding up two banks is messy, but it had to outdo Jesse. Well, he might could even be kicking still if he'd never rode into Coffeeville, stuffing gold in an old feed sack, but the town folk fired by. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Twelve crowded minutes with the guns ablaze, and even Satan blushed where the hell they were raising. There was no escape in that town. The town folk wouldn't back down. Big Brother Grat was the first to go. Bob shot a few before they laid him low. Emma tried to ride away, but they shot him anyway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They did not fear to steal, and they did not blush to hide. But they robbed their train to glory when they made that final ride. So don't shed a tear for an outlaw, their mama cried enough. The day they ran into coffee, if it was the day they ran. What happened? 
happens to bad men who come face to face with armed citizens? Well, they just ran. I wrote that song. You are related to the Daltons. That explains a whole bunch, Deb. <laughs> now it says in that song, it says, um, Emmett tried to ride away, but they shot him anyway. Well, um, Bob and Grat were the older brothers, and they were both shot and killed that day. But Emmett Dalton was just wounded. He was shot, but <laughs> wounded. He served his time in prison. And then he moved to California and became a contractor. True story. And he does have um, relatives. And I guess you're one of them. <laughs> and uh, we've got a little bit of a squeaky thing going on. It was my cough drop. I just swallowed it. <laughs> well, you know, um, this next song is a song about a gal who's blonde. Let me see how many blondes we've got. Well, Deb's a blonde today. <laughs> I'm a blonde every day, but you just have brown hair, and I'm really a blonde. Well, did you all hear about the blonde who, um, she was bragging because she knew the capital of every state. She said, oh, oh, I know the capital of every, every state. Go ahead and try me. Just name any state, and I'll tell you the capital. Any state. Go ahead. Minnesota, M. <laughs> She's blonde. Well, the blonde in this song, her name is um, Miss Lucy LaRue. Come on and gather around. I've got a tale for you about a sweet southern lady named Lucy LaRue. She had a hankering to wander, so she took her a chance. She had to get her a cowboy, live on a ranch. Well, she had big blue eyes and nice curvy hips, curly blonde hair and pucker up lips. And when she stepped off the train, she drove the cowboys insane. And with her southern drawl, she said, Howdy, y'all. Hey, calling all cowboys. Clean up your court and clothes. How about a little southern comfort when that cold Montana winter blows? Well, there sure ain't much that a cowboy won't do to win the hand of sweet Lucy LaRue. Well, around the corner came Cowboy Ned. He was strong in size, but weak in the head. He said, excuse me, Miss Lucy. Will you marry me? I've got a sod hut, a mule for you, and a horse for me. She said, oh my, you sure have some brawn, but I need a cowboy who's both smart and strong. Someone with charm, poise, and wit. And a cowboy who's rich wouldn't hurt a bit. Hey, calling all cowboys, clean up your court and clothes. How about a little southern comfort when that cold Montana winter blows? Well, there sure ain't much that a cowboy won't do to win the hand of sweet Lucy LaRue. Well, old Stinky Bill and young Yodel and Joe came a-courting Miss Lucy into town, don't you know? They didn't need an ounce and they were coming that day Cause you could hear them and smell them from far, far away Well, oh, Stinky Bill never washed his clothes And when he took Lucy's hand, she just held her nose And young Yodel and Joe saw that this was his chance He commenced to yodel and put him all in a trance Oh, old lady, oh, lady, oh, lady, dee, dee, dee Oh, lady, oh, lady, dee, dee Oh, lady, oh, lady, oh, lady, dee, 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 dee. Well, just as the sun was setting low and still, David McMurtry came a-riding o'er the hill. Uncommonly good-looking, 
well-mannered and smart. Well, he caught Lucy's eye, and he won her heart. So in the winter time, when the snow was a-blowing, David's sure glad he's got Lucy for holding. And Lucy's glad, too, that she took her a chance, because now she's got her a cowboy, lives on her ranch. Hey, calling all cowboys, clean up your cordon clothes. How about a little southern comfort when that cold Montana winter blows? Well, there sure ain't much that a cowboy won't do to win the hand of sweet Lucy LaRue. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. I'm going to start collecting blonde jokes, so if anybody has any afterwards, you can share with me. <laughs> well, you know, I've been working very, very hard this last year and getting songs ready for a new CD. And it's always a lot of fun to write new music and to get it ready to perform. And um, you have new experiences when you're out traveling on the road. And one of the things that you learn is that locally, just because a, a name of a town looks like it should be pronounced one way, does not mean that's how the locals pronounce it. For instance, we have a town in Utah that looks like it should be called Hurricane. It's not. It's Hurricane. And they will throw things at you if you call it anything else. <laughs> and there's a town in Arizona that looks like it should be called Prescott. But it's not. It's like a biscuit. It's Prescott. <laughs> this song was written before I knew that. <laughs> little detail and I've had to change the pronunciation a little bit but this song is called The Road to Prescott Life was too small in that dark adobe cabin or strapping young man so brave young and handsome out in the world where he was a heading with some food from his mom his horse and his bedding, he sat in the saddle. He fell like a king, the vigor of youth and the promise of spring. How could he know and how could he tell he was heading into heaven or heading into hell? And the road to Prescott is all uphill from every direction that's the way it is still. The dice is loaded and the race is run. There is no new thing under the Arizona sun, under the Arizona sun. His boots hit that boardwalk, he was looking for a meal. But hungry looking fellas never get a square deal. And a sea of sunny faces, he shone above the rest. A fresh supply of innocence to put to the test. He agreed to the terms, shook hands with the boss. Six days of steady work and only Sunday off. How could he know and how could he tell? He was dealing with the boss man and the devil as well. On the road to Prescott is all uphill. From every direction that's the way it is still. The dice is loaded and the race is run. There is no new thing under the Arizona sun, under the Arizona sun. Six days a week, mostly in the saddle, money in his pocket pushing another man's cattle. Sunday was a day he found something he could live on, that fancy gallant case. Became his new religion. Her hair was black, her eyes were brown. He wondered how an angel got so close to the ground. How could he know and how could he tell? You can only sell your soul if you got a soul to sell. On the road to Prescott is all uphill. From every direction, that's the way it is still. The dice is loaded and the race is run. There is no new thing under the Arizona sun, under the Arizona sun.
He could not eat. He could not sleep like the first man alive to taste something so sweet. I could he be so blind not to see the thing that fancy gallop Kate? She wore the boss man's ring. She wore the boss man's ring. Summer had been sweet, but now was heading for the fall. That boss man's cattle rustling caught the attention of the law. That boss man leaned back and with a smile upon his face, he says you'll find that young cowboy with the fancy gallant cakes. That cowboy did not stand a chance. He faced a rustler's fate, not even a second glance from the fancy gallant cakes. How could he know and how could he tell? He'd be running from Prescott, he'd be running like hell on the road to Prescott. It's all a uphill from every direction, that's the way it is still. The dice is loaded and the race is run. There is no new thing under the Arizona sun. Under the Arizona sun. Run! Thank you. Let's have the Crosstown Cowboys come up here. Come on up here, you guys. All right, we picked a song you all know. No, we already picked it, remember? We actually, oh, I did prick. Okay, are you saying that I was bossy during practice? No, I'll let you say that. <laughs> Why would I say something like that? <laughs> Debbie, would he say something like that? <laughs> it's a long walk home, isn't it? <laughs> Marvelous Dusty. Someday when I grow up, I'll be able to play like Dusty.
What happens to bad men who come face to face with armed citizens? Well, they just ran. Clean out of love.